Today is going to be a challenge to photograph this forest with no leaves on the trees by using a 50 mm lens. The problem, the biggest problem, is the lack of separation because the leaves are missing from the trees, it's obviously. Um, so my approach is going to be either to have a tighter shot, and that's why I'm using a longer focal length, it's 50 mm, and I can also switch to crop mode on my camera to go uh, above 50 mm to uh, almost 80, 85. Uh, and, but another approach would be to have a really strong foreground element that it's really close to the camera. And in that approach, you would have to use a wider focal length. As you can see right from the beginning of this photo shoot, I'm staying more close to the edge of the forest and I'm concentrating more on lonely trees. I'm trying to photograph them by not including the sky and using a wider uh, aperture just to blur the background and uh, use uh, a technique that is more suited for portraits. But I think in a situation like this, it can work very well. For the tree behind me, I took two photos and one of them it's not good. And this is what you're seeing right now on the screen. It's the photo that it's not good. And let me tell you why it's not good. Because the frame is evolving towards left, from right to left. But the left side is inclined. And it creates kind of like a stopping element. And it also... Um, forces the viewer not to explore the photo to the left, but to cram either his or her attention to the trunk of the tree. Now, the, the, the better photo is to photograph it towards the valley, towards the right. And this way, the positive side of the framing um, gets all the benefits from the opening uh, composition. And it's a very simple way to uh, get a better attention uh, on the on the photo and maybe if you want to learn more about landscape photography you can join me on one of my workshops in Tuscany or in the Dolomites or you can simply buy my ebook and everything about these you can find details about it uh, on my website the link is in the description of this video now the settings for this photo are 160th of a second, ISO 100 and f2.8. Again, I'm using this um, open aperture to blur the background and to get a little bit of separation uh, between the tree that I'm photographing and the rest of the photo. Now, my next move is to go photograph that tree over there before moving on. I also did a panoramic shot, again with the same settings uh, of 2.8, 160th of a second and ISO 100. The focus point was right on this uh, tree, on the trunk of the tree. And of course I didn't include the sky, I had the perfect number of shots, in my personal opinion, five for this panorama, and I, I captured the, the spreading of the, of the branches to one side and another. One of the tips that I always talk about is whenever you're doing a landscape format of the photo, try and find also a vertical composition. And this is exactly what I did here. I did a horizontal shot, I did a vertical shot, and I also did a panorama. And when I photographed the panorama, I did it with two aperture settings, 3.2 and 2.2. And the reason was very simple. The forest is much closer over here. Um, and I try to separate the tree even, uh, even better. 
Now for this tree over here, I will do a panorama and I will do a really wide panorama because it, I get the feeling of, of a graphical image. You get the yellow uh, of the grass, you get the dark branches of the tree and I don't know why but it, it gives me the feeling of a graphical image. It, it's, it's more than a simple photo, it's something that looks uh, like something that is drawn or painted and uh, I switch to crop mode uh, because I don't want any of the sky in this image. I will go with 2.8 or 3.2 uh, in the aperture and I don't know how many how many shots this panorama will be but I think this will be a better way to portray this particular tree. And now I'm also beginning to close on uh, this tree that I'm following from up the ridge. finally got to this tree that I'm chasing from the other side of the forest and I went as high as I could without losing the base of the tree. The reason for which I wanted to go higher and higher is to have the entire tree uh, on this yellow grass because I think it looks a lot better uh in in this situation i think the contrast is a lot higher from a lower position i could have had a better view of the tree but the problem was that the tip of the tree was um over the darkness of the forest in the background and of course the separation was almost inexistent so i will photograph from this location and then I will slowly move down and take several more shots and decide later on which one I like the best. This was it for today. Don't forget about my ebook, about my workshops. You can find everything about this on my website. The link is in the description of this video. And until next time, keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better. Thanks for watching and bye bye.